Well, any time you try to change the culture of the school, any aspect of the culture, the norms, the, the, the rituals, and what have you, you're going to be met with some resistance. Um, I believe that our children, for the most part, uh, regard physical education as a time to sort of play and relax. Um, not understanding that there's a purpose, an underlying purpose to it. Uh, I, I think initially they may they may react to the to the demands of it and and, and to the uh, to the not the rigidity because it's not rigid. There's a lot of movement. Uh, the uh, kids like that, but uh, it's not something they're accustomed to, and and they're not being they're not used to being told at every minute what they're doing and what they're expected to do. Mm -hmm. So I think overall there will be some resistance but not much because I, they'll quickly find out how much fun it is anyway. Mm -hmm. And that's the key. I mean I think time. I think time and money are, are you'll find in any educational institution are often two of the biggest uh, hurdles to overcome. Teachers know how important this is. Um, they want it to be incorporated in their lessons, but they're also up against making sure that reading, math, you know, writing, science, social studies, spelling, all that gets in there as well. Mm -hmm. So things like health, education, and wellness often kind of get pushed to the back, um, which we know is, is not how it should be, and we certainly don't want it to be that way, but that is realistically what ends up happening. Um, and then, you know, again, with money, um, a lot of the discussions and suggestions that we talked about this morning were for implementation of new uh, programs and so forth, and of course that all costs money. So if a, with a school like ours, you know, where we raise every penny that we get, we really have to be very smart about where we spend our money. But again, we, I think as a staff, um, re and as an institution, think that this is a very valuable um, way to spend our, our energy towards, you know, educating our kids. I think one of the challenges would be um, trying to get the parents involved. Because right. if the head ain't right, the child's not going to be right. right. So we have to get the parents involved. Mm -hmm. So in that way, we, um, we ask the parents to get more involved. As far as implementing this new program, this is a smart program. Right. And I, the parents, once the parents are involved, the kids will see that mm -hmm. it's really going somewhere, make it more enthused and more exciting to be involved. Well, time and space mainly, time because, um, you know, with the curriculum and testing and everything, and we, we're so packed in with what we do with our days anyway. Anything that we're expected to take, you know, minutes out of our regular teaching period, is hard, you know, it, it often doesn't happen because there's so much that we don't do already. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, something that would take a whole day or be a whole unit, it comes at a cost right. of something else. So that, um, and then space too, I mean, we just have crazy space issues. My classroom where I teach music is like the size of this garden. Mm -hmm. Like it's like 10 feet by 10 feet practically. Um, and the gym too, um, it just, space is really, really, really hard. There's never empty spaces. So, like if I wanted to take my kids out of the music room into another room, there's no empty room. Like every room is being used every hour of the day. Um, so that's hard too, especially when the weather gets really bad. I think you're very aware of space, um, space in the building. Um, we have very few outs outside spaces. This is actually one of the smallest schools I've ever worked in. Um, and I think because we're in a city and three small brownstones, that there are a lot of limitations. Um, I think generally speaking, some teachers are more open to it than others. I think the further you go up in the school, the less likely, you know, middle school teachers that are not physical education teachers are just not generally that excited about, hey, let's hop up in class and do something. So I do think that that's something that you should be aware of, sort of like, what's, what's this stuff? So um, I would say that might be one